Next thing you know, your, your burlap's blowing in the breeze like a flag, you know, and it's not getting the job done. In the wintertime, blankets work best to protect fresh concrete in freeze-thaw climates. Cylinders for compressive strength test also need to be cured. These cylinders are used to represent the concrete that was placed and needs to be cured in the same way the concrete is. Why? The architect, owner, and engineer need to know that the placed concrete is as strong as intended and is safe for use. Satisfactory concrete strength and the approval for farm removal is based on the test strength of these cylinders. As the inspector, you may be the one to okay form removal. How do you go about giving the contractor the approval? First, be sure the cylinders were properly cured. Specs will describe curing procedures either on site, in a cure box, or in a lab. Watch for any mistreatment in handling or storage. Even unintended vibration in a truck can alter test results, so it's critical that cylinders be handled with care. After so many days of curing, cylinders are taken to a lab to be tested for compressive strength. Job specs will tell you what percent of the design strength the cylinders need to have broken at in order to approve formwork removal. On the day of concrete placement, as an inspector, you'll be checking the subgrade conditions, formwork for fit and cleanliness, and reinforcement cover. As concrete arrives, batch plant tickets need to be read. During placement, you'll need to observe quality assurance tests run by technicians and then laborers placing, consolidating, and finishing the concrete. I think inspection is important because that way it keeps things fair for both the owner and the contractor. Um, and to ensure really that we get the right product. I think the most important part of being an inspection, doing inspection, is, is that you make sure that the, the people who are paying for the product you're, you're inspecting for is getting what they're getting, you know, what they're paying for. I find it's pretty agreeable and most of the time they try to work with me. They don't want to have to go back and redo things, so they want, to, they want me to be there and help them make sure they're doing it correctly the first time around. You might say that's what the inspector's job is really all about, helping to get it done correctly the first time around. The uh, concrete the guys driving the truck aren't, aren't ACI certified concrete folks, let's face it. So um, if they're adding a lot of water, you need to watch out for it. You want to check uh, the delivery ticket, make sure it's the design mix that is approved for, this, for the specific project. You want to make sure the, it's got the batch time on it, because every spec has a certain amount length of time they allow the concrete to be discharged. Uh, you want to check for the PSI of the concrete, make sure it's correct. Uh, just mainly those are the th things that I look for. You're going to want to use some judgment. You wouldn't want to send a truck out of here if it's because uh, they needed to add a gallon or two of water. Uh, you could get a break in pours at that point. The next truck might not show up for another half an hour or so and you've got a mix on the ground starting to set and you're going to want to keep fresh mix on fresh mix. If we're pumping this and I have a truck that comes in with a high slump, I'll stop, I'll stop the, uh, the uh, truck driver from pumping. I'll send the truck away, but I'll leave enough in the hopper, whereas if we start getting a cold joint, the, uh, the pump operator can place a little bit at a time to maintain that joint so it doesn't get cold. Contractors are very cooperative. I haven't found that if something didn't meet the minimum uh, standards, they would say uh, either send the truck back or, or uh, you know, we'll look at the numbers and see how close. If it was very, very marginal, we'll go ahead and pour. But by and large, contractors are very supportive of, of, of my decisions as to if anything is awry. 